Hey friends, welcome back to Foreverland Fairy Tales. I am in my kitchen today and every day because we're stuck in quarantine and the parks aren't open. So I decided to make the Disneyland churro toffee. Make sure you stick around to see the recipe, try it yourself and leave some comments below if you did try it and tell me how it turned out. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started with your ingredients. You're gonna need one baking sheet lined with parchment paper, two cups of sugar, and four sticks of butter. That's gonna come out to two cups of butter. So now to prepare, you're gonna measure your two cups of sugar. So what I like to do when I'm measuring dry ingredients, I actually like to spoon the dry ingredients into my measuring cup and then take the flat end of the spoon and just scrape off that excess. That way I know I have exactly the amount that I need. Now we're gonna move on to the butter. So this is an option. You don't have to do this. I did it just because it's gonna melt faster. So I cut my butter sticks in half. So take all of your butter, slice them carefully in half, and you don't have to put them into a bowl. It just looks nice, so that's what I did. So you're just gonna cut them in half, put them into the pan, and go ahead and let them melt. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to preheat your pan to a medium, medium low heat. Then once it's nice and warm, I'm gonna dump all of my butter in there. Get it all in, get it all nice and, get, get it, get it, get down. Get it all nice and melted. That way I'm gonna mix it around a little bit just so that nothing uh, starts to brown too fast. We don't want any burnt pockets as we begin. Then you're gonna add in your sugar. Just dump the whole thing in there. Get it all in, mix it all around until it's completely dissolved and you don't have any sugar lumps left. Just like this. Now, what I like to do is make sure I scrape down the side of the pan, get all that sugar in there so nothing burns on the side of my pans or crystallizes and gets really hard to wash off. And this is all you're gonna do. You just keep on mixing it. Now, one tool that I totally forgot to mention in the beginning that you need is a candy thermometer. I got this off of Amazon. It was like 10, 12 bucks, came pretty fast. So you wanna put that in there once all the ingredients are melted and you wanna keep stirring and make sure you keep it in there and keep it on the flame until it reaches 285 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, as you can see, the more that I leave it on the heat and the more that I'm mixing it, it does start to get into that brown, kind of nice, caramelly color. But it's not there yet. That's why the thermometer comes in handy. If you don't have a thermometer, it does get really tricky because I thought that it was going to take a little bit longer than it actually did. And if I didn't have that thermometer, I was probably going to leave it on too long and I would end up with burnt uh, toffee. So you don't want to have that. You don't want to miss that, and you want to make sure that you have that thermometer. So, you want to keep going until it kind of slowly bubbles, and as you stir it, it starts to get sticky on the sides. That's how you know it's done if you don't have the thermometer. If you do, 285 Fahrenheit, take it off, go ahead and pour it out onto your parchment-lined baking sheet. Now, it is super hot, so be careful. Make sure that when you're mixing the butter, you're not splashing it around and getting it everywhere, because 285 degrees is really hot. And I burnt my finger, so word from the wise. All right, as you're pouring this out, this is also an option. I just like to spread it into the corners, make sure that I can get it as squared off as possible. Ooh, look at the toffee. Yum! So it does cool and set really quickly. So leave it for about two minutes, and then go ahead and take a plastic knife is preferable. I don't have any plastic wear, so I just used one of my knives, and I just slowly kind of started etching the lines down to make my squares. So you can do whatever shape you like. It doesn't have to be squares. I just wanted to recreate the Disneyland iconic square churro toffee look, so I'm just going to kind of slowly guide my knife down, kind of making little, little dashes. So after you have your lines kind of starting to solidify, go ahead and just keep going over them. I went over mine five to seven times, and you just kind of want to keep cutting and keep cutting and keep tracing those lines. That way, when you set it into the fridge, it solidifies, and it's a little bit easier to break now that you have those, kind of think of it as like a perforated line that you can tear off later. 
All right, so after about 20 minutes, your toffee is gonna be nice and solidified. So go ahead, take it out of the fridge. You're gonna go ahead and mix half a cup of granulated sugar with one tablespoon of cinnamon. Now for the white chocolate coating. I use two bags of the Ghirardelli white chocolate chips, and I'm just gonna put it into a microwave safe bowl. I'm gonna pop it into the microwave, mix it up, struggle a little bit, bring it back, and then we're gonna pop it back in the oven. The oven. We're gonna pop it back in the microwave for another 25 seconds. Now, after this, it should be nice and thick. After that, you're done. Take it out, set it aside, leave it. All right, so now that that's done, it's been about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove my toffee from the fridge. Look at that. Yum! All right, so it is super, super hard. So I'm gonna be very careful as I run my knife along those lines and try not to break my toffee in half, but kind of just break the lines here. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but it is really buttery, so I don't like that much butter. It just makes me feel gross, it's kind of greasy. I'm gonna lay out some paper towels, lay these toffee pieces down on the paper towels, just so that I can kind of dry off this excess butter that's on there and kind of move it around, make sure everything fits because you don't want to waste paper towels. All right, now I'm gonna pat down my toffee pieces and just get any of that excess butter off the top. I'm gonna to slowly peel this off because it, the paper is sticking to the toffee and I don't wanna rip any up or break any. So now that that's done, it's this glorious toffee. All right, the fun part. The assembly. So I tried this a couple times. So this first time I'm going to show you, I try to recreate how they do it in the parks. They take the melted chocolate and they just kind of spoon it and paint it on and kind of get it all over the place. Granted, I don't work at the parks. I've just seen it done in the windows. You want to shake off a little bit of the excess, turn it over, go ahead, get it on the back side, get it all over, get it on the top, make sure not to burn yourself, make sure your chocolate's not too hot. Get it on your hand, great. All right, so after that, you wanna shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, and scrape off the bottom. Then they pour, they pour? Then they pour their cinnamon sugar on top of the churro toffee, which we'll learn is a mistake, and then we're gonna dip it into my second batch of cinnamon sugar. So this is where I said I doubled it. So I did half the mixture in one bowl and half the mixture in like a pie dish just so I could sit down. And then you want to spoon the cinnamon sugar on top. Then go ahead, pick it up, take it out of the cinnamon sugar, shake off all the excess. And only one side really looked like churro toffee. So I'm going to try it again a different way. So this is the probably the fourth or fifth attempt that I tried. So this was the best kind of version that I did. Take the spoon, go ahead and drip it from the top. Let it run down. Don't worry about how much you're putting on. Just drench it. Then go ahead and shake it off as much as you can until you have a nice even layer. Go ahead and scrape the bottom of that churro toffee. Then you're going to put it into a pie pan. Just put all of that cinnamon sugar into a pie pan. Eliminate the bowl. Eliminate the spoon. Just kind of lightly sprinkle. All right, so you're gonna pop it into the fridge once you've completed all of that, just so that you can let the white chocolate cool. All right guys, well that's it. You have your churro toffee. Hopefully it's delicious, I'm gonna try it right now. But before I do and get my mouth full of food, thank you for sticking around and trying this recipe out with me. Like I said in the beginning, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment below on if you tried the recipe or what you wanna see in the future. Cheers. Oh God. <laughs>